Hey y'all, hey. So welcome back to Tommy Bikes TV and Homestead. Today we are doing Strawberry Jam. <laughs> So before we get started, I have already cut up some of the, the majority of the strawberries. I'm on my last container, so I thought I'd bring you along and show you the process. So you're gonna wash the strawberries. And pull off the cap. Or you can just cut it off. And then you're gonna cut the core out. You can use a knife or you can use, they have a strawberry core that you can use as well. And you're going to slice it in half. If it's too big, slice it one more time. And then you have four little pieces you can put in your to your bowl. That part off. Like that. Then I'm slicing it down the middle like this. And I'm slicing it in like that. And then you have your four. Okay, so before I get started, I want to give a big thank you to Homestead Heart because this is her recipe. Y'all can go over there and check out her channel. She does so many things on her channel. And she has a lot of canning tips, a lot of canning videos, preserving videos. So go check her out over there. So again, before I get started though, this has to go up. Now let me wash my hands. So also I have my water bath canner on the stove right here and also have my lids in a, another pot down here, making sure they're hot. It doesn't have to be boiling or anything like that. And I have another pot here that I'm gonna transfer my strawberries into. I also have my notes from Miss Homestead Heart, so I don't forget anything. And I have my book. Now in this book, you should read this book. I've been reading and it's like, this is some science stuff. You know, not science fiction, this is some science stuff. So anyway, go out and get you a book like that if you wanna can also. But I'm gonna be using her recipe um, and her recipe, these are the things that you will need. Six pounds of strawberries washed, cored, <laughs> and cut up, okay? We're gonna need six cups of sugar. Yeah, Morena sugar is what she used, and that's what I'm using, Morena sugar. You also will need two Granny Smith apples, and the apples are in replacement of having to use the sure gel. Peel it up, core it, chop it, and then we'll add that into the uh, strawberries. You're also gonna need four tablespoons of real lemon juice, not real lemons, not the real lemons off the tree, okay? Not your persimmons. <laughs> You're gonna need the real lemon juice. And the reason she said you need that is because each lemon has different acidity levels in it. So to make sure everything is cohesive, you wanna use this. Before I get started, I'm gonna add my jars to the pot so that they can start getting hot. You can just use your hand, because right now I have it sitting up, and so I don't really need to use this right this minute. This is my first time using my actual water bath canner. The last time I canned some um, grape jelly, and you want to inspect, I already inspected when I washed my glasses, my jars. Last time I used a regular stock pot. So you don't have to have a water bath canner. Okay, so I have the lid on that. Um, they don't need to be boiling right now. So if they, if they start boiling, then I will um, turn the eye down. Try not to lose any like I just did. 
And then I'm gonna mash these strawberries down in the pot. And then I'm gonna core the two apples and peel them, chop them up fine, and add them to the pot. So I have my masher, and I'm just gonna, let me show you what I'm doing. So I'm gonna try to show you what I'm doing because I don't have it on the high stand for fear of dropping my camera again like I did before. So all you're doing is mashing it up and this is gonna help the process. And this is tedious. This is a good work out. Oh, oh my goodness. Y'all, this is tedious. She showed the whole thing of her mashing it up because she's like, I want you to know that this is not just wham, bam. They, those weren't her words, but those are mine. It wasn't gonna be an instant recipe. Let me show you where we are right now. So this is where we are, if you can see it. It's getting there. The phone fell off, but I'm so glad that it was on, on this camera. I just got my phone back. It's not boiling. I don't want it to boil, so I'm gonna crack it. And I have an electric, so this water back can takes up the whole eye. It's almost like it's touching the other eye. Okay, so I think that's good enough because it's gonna cook down the rest of the way. Smells good. Take tap and stuff. So I'm gonna put that aside. And the, the stove is not on for that yet. So I don't have a core, but I'm gonna do it this way. Get that core out, and then I'm gonna start peeling. chickens. Or the goats. And then you're just going to cut it. And to get this part out, the core, just cut that part out. Same thing for this one. Also, I feel like I need to say the same the same thing that she said. I, uh, with the sugar, the six cups of sugar um, may seem excessive, but that's what her recipe calls for, so that's what I'm going to use. But in the ball book guide to canning, they have recipes in that book that call for a low sugar, um, and you, you have to buy the pectin that's low sugar as well to go in those recipes. So I would advise you to get the book if you want to do that type of recipe. And you're just gonna add it over here to um, the strawberry. to be this fine right here. So to the pot, you're gonna add the six cups of sugar. Add four tablespoons of lemon juice. This 
this is a one tablespoon, so I'm gonna add four. It's time to turn your stove on a medium high. So you're gonna stir the apples, and you're gonna, well, apples. So you're gonna stir the strawberries, <laughs> the apples, the sugar, all together. And you're just gonna keep stirring it. You're gonna stir it until it comes to a boil. Probably turn it, heat up just a little bit more. Once it comes to a boil, you're gonna set your timer for 20 to 25 minutes, stirring the whole time. Do not stop stirring. So as you can see, it started to boil. Now that it's boiling, you wanna stir this for 20 to 25 minutes. Do not stop stirring because you don't want it to stick to the bottom. You don't want it to scorch or burn. I'm gonna set my timer. And you don't wanna walk away from this because you come back and it could be overflowing out of your pot. Show that bottom of that jar was underneath the water. The foam that's on there, she said, don't worry about the foam. Um, at this moment, all you want to worry about is continuing to stir your pot for the 20 minutes, and then before you start jarring, uh, canning your uh, strawberry jam, if you want to skim the foam off, you can at that time. I don't want it to go over at all. Added an extra three minutes, so all in all, I'm letting it cook for 23 minutes, and then we can start jarring. We can start jarring our strawberry jam. Ooh, it's getting thick too. Well, it is thick, it's getting thicker. That's why I decided to let it go a little bit longer. So it'll be just a little bit thicker. Turn that off. Along with our stove, we're gonna let it sit covered for five minutes. Set my timer. The timer just went off, so I'm about to take some jars out and start ladling up my strawberry jam. Most people don't put all of their jars out like this at the same time, but I am. Y'all, this looks so good. You want to see it? Fourth inch head space at the top. So this is your 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 rim right here. You want to leave it to right there. So that's my rim right here. I want to leave it right there at the second one. If we go over, I can always out which is what I'm gonna end up having to do and that's fine just scoop it out and put it in the other one What you're gonna do now is you're gonna use some vinegar. 
with a cloth. Make sure it's not dripping vinegar and just clear off the ring, the uh, rim of your jar. I don't have my, my magnet to get my uh, lids out of the pot with the water. And that's fine. Oh, y'all, you know what I forgot to do? I got to take my stuff back out of there. Gosh, I, mean, I forgot to debubble. It's so important to debubble. So this is my debubbler. <sighs> um, and I have to re-wipe my um, rims. So this is all you're doing when you're debubbling. You're getting the air pockets out. You're just pushing this down against the side of the glass. The small end. And then this part right here just tells you your measuring space. that you want and the top that you desire at the end of it all. And I'm not going to cut this part out because I want you to see. This is just my second time canning. But even seasoned vets forget sometimes and it's okay. Back into the warm bath canner. Once it starts boiling, we'll set the timer for 15 minutes. And then 
we'll turn everything off and let it sit for five minutes with the lid off. So we're gonna put the lid on. Let me show you. So you'll see that they have to be covered. The cans have to be covered by the water. I have more room in there for more things, but I didn't have enough, but that's okay. It's just four of us in this house. Once that starts boiling, rolling ball, rolling boil. So this is all I had left. I gotta put this one in here, I almost forgot. This is what it looks like. You can see the strawberry in there. This is all I had left. See that? Don't that look good? I wish you could smell it. Look at that. Mm, that's a whole bit. Pieces of strawberry. Mm. Y'all. Y'all, y'all, that thing was good. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, go ahead and take the time now and hit the like button so YouTube can push out my videos. It helps the channel grow. Also subscribe, share, like, and leave me some comments down below of things you have um, not pressure can but water bath can let me know some things that you water bath can and i look forward to seeing your comments down below so we're gonna let this like i said come to a boil and then i'll be back so what you want is it to be at a rolling boil now i'm going to set my timer for 15 minutes once that go off we'll turn the eye off Take the lid off, because we're about to put the lid back on. So the timer is gone off. I'm gonna turn this off. Remove the lid. Set my timer. Five minutes. Try not to get caught in the process. Once that's done, I'll put them on the counter and that's when they will sit for 12 hours plus to cool off and listen for the pop signs that means it's sealed. So it's just that simple. And I say just that simple, it's a lot of work that goes into it, but if you follow the instructions, you will not have a problem with it at all. So I hope that this is something that you try um, to increase your food pantry um, and to stop buying, having to buy it out into the stores. It would have been nice if I could have grown those strawberries. I did get strawberries from the ones that I planted, but it wouldn't have been enough to do anything with. It's just every now and then you see a strawberry or, or two and you pop them off and you put them in your mouth and eat them. So yeah, this was fun. It's hot in here. My air is not working downstairs. So <sighs> I'm dying. <laughs> I'm dying. But y'all, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you um, thumbs the video up and I'll be right back. So five minutes is up. And that's 
that's all it is to it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed doing it. I was putting it off for a little while because um, I was feeling intimidated by it. But I feel better about myself now that I got it done. So I'm excited to um, spread this over some nice